don't believe we've been formally introduced. Not in this era, anyway. <laughs> And with that evil cackle, uh, we start the next Assassin's Creed Black Flag mission. It is the final mission called Every Splinter. This is going to be a very long video. I will try and fast forward and edit a little bit, but I'm not going to have a very long intro. So let's get on with this mission. The port is guarded by two man of war, and you're going to have to get your way in. Ah, uh, yeah. This is just attack and use mortars and, uh, you know, just take down these uh, ships. You're going to have to do it and do it smart. So let's have a nice little sea battle here. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a very long video, so I'm going to do a little fast forwarding on things and get on with part of the main mission here. I decided to sink the ships rather than board them because it's a long enough mission. And again, I don't want to waste a lot of time and make a massive video. So sink the ships, recover the loot, and on to the next ship. You have to sink or capture those ships in order to even start the mission. You won't be allowed to bring the jackdaw into the bay where you can start every splinter and once you sink those ships or capture them yeah you can start this mission ever a splinter Who's this Taurus? And what's your man done to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence you cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like, if there was a drought and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water, but gave a sip to none. He'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. You have to run through the jungle to get to the temple, and you have to fight guards and possible natives. Yeah. In order to not make this a long video, even with fast forwarding, I'm just going to cut to the main mission. Uh, you have to fight your way through guards and um, natives, but it is what it is. Oh, it's so strange. What is this? Later, on, I'll tell you all when this is finished. Now that Kenway has reached the temple, getting to the target is going to be a little difficult. I'm going to have to do some editing. Stand watch here, and let none follow. Spitfielder doesn't fight sight. Trying to get through this challenge cleanly is difficult, and yeah, uh, I desynchronized a few times after this Temple of Doom type stuff or whatever. Yeah, you got to climb through and work your way through a puzzle, and it involves a lot of jumping and moving around and stuff. 
and I don't want to deal with these two guards. So a smoke bomb, boom, and take them down and start the long climb up. You're going to have to do this climb whether you do left or right. And this is where I had a tendency to get desynchronized pretty quickly. Making that leap was kind of a difficult. If you don't line up right, you get off course and you end up dying. So now let's continue to jump through things and climb to get to the next point. Yeah, I desynchronized a few times doing this, and you'll see after this point why things uh, happen and how it can happen. The guards, yeah, you just take them down. Who cares about using the defenses and trying to be fancy about it? You just kill the guards. And then you got to climb around, and uh, if you desynchronize before a certain point, you wind up uh, starting at the beginning again. And I actually get past that point, but I still desynchronize. You can watch it as it happens. I managed to get past a certain point, so now I'm desynchronized and coming back at this area. And you have to work your way through and climb your way up to where you can take down the bad guy. This is not a lot of fun.
get power for ourselves. And you got to time your jump just right so you don't get zapped by the energy and kill the bad guy. I could show you things. These trees beyond anything that you could imagine. Captain Kenbe, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. Can you honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenway's folly! It's a wall to sue to kill her. Can't win it. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were files when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. Now that the mission is over, things take a bit of a quirky um, segue. And now you get to watch it happen as Kenway realizes certain things and you fade into the animus mode and this is where stuff goes a little weird. Winky winky. I don't believe we've been formally introduced. Not in this era anyway. <laughs> I wish I could explain all this strangeness, but there isn't much time. The short of it is, you saw my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. And now, she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. One of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people we're tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. Uh-oh. Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. Uh. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Ah! Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals. He's bleeding fast. Check the victim. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. 
You all right? Well, there you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Good. Try walking around. A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. Okay, I'm only going to show a bit of this clip. No audio because, yeah, it could be copyrighted. And I'm just going to cut to the next part of things. And, yeah, it looks kind of cheesy. Yeah, I'm going to return to Kenway's life, and this is a very beautiful ending to the game, so I'm going to let it play out a little bit. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us, but our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben La had once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. When my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cold! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. 
And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. Now, to let you all in on things, this is Kenway, and he's realized he has a daughter. And I'm going to talk over this because the singing could be considered copyrighted material. I've been dogged by YouTube for a long time. There's all Kenway's friends and pirates and fun and now, you know, like I said, I'm trying to avoid getting copyright infringement, and this could very well be just that, but I don't want the beauty of the ending to be interfered with. So stop listening to my voice and watch what's going on. Yes, as the credits scroll and Kenway returns to the Jackdaw with a conversation with his daughter. Father, did you always know how to sail a boat? The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny, not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing the boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lot. To support us. To take care of her and you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year and that she never knew where to find you. Well, that's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but. That wouldn't have mattered. Can I see your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything's a ship. Large and small, but for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Now, only a little one, I hope. Can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Ooh. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick of the helm before sundown. Yay! 
<clears throat> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Again, a very wonderful ending. Um, it's kind of long, and I uh, made this video really long, so the theater, in the end, that's how Assassin's Creed 3 starts, with a theater. Very, very nice, full circle. Kenway is the grandfather of the character uh, in Assassin's Creed 3. And, well, again, this was an awesome game to play. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I post four videos a week reliably, and you don't want to miss out. Since Assassin's Creed Black Flag is over, I'm moving on to something else. and. You want to find out? Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for stopping by.